the past couple of weeks or so, I have played hardly any Fortnite, and as nice as it was taking a break before the new season, it unfortunately means I've come back to the game hitting shots like this. And like every time a new season drops, loads of people come back to the game and are having the same issue as me, and it can often take people up to a week plus to get unwashed. So I thought, rather than seeing you will struggle through it for a week, I'd take you through exactly what I do to get myself fully unwashed in exactly a day so first of all once you play a little bit of fortnite and you get yourself in the lobby or whatnot maybe play yourself a few games i'm up into gold free at the moment it's about time that we head into a little bit of creative to get our skills back but before we hop into creative it is super important that i give you guys a little bit of advice that will help you massively when it comes to getting yourself back to your old skill again first of all take it slow i know how annoying it can be to not be able to hit the shot and play at the speeds that you once could and trust me i know it hurts to try and hit a shot that you once would have hit and you fully just mess it up it is the worst feeling ever but it really does take yourself a little bit of time to get back to that stage again and to get back to your prime is going to take even longer so not adapting and changing the way you play is going to massively hinder the speed in which it's going to take for you to get back to the skill you was before so rather than trying to hit quick flashy flick shots like you once did slow it down take your time with each shot make sure you're lining it up make sure you're hitting the shots and hitting each build and edit as they come this is going to make you instantly improve just from slowing your playstyle down and stripping yourself fully back to basics next up play for high ground when boxing up and playing on the low ground most of the time you're putting yourself at a big disadvantage and this just allows the enemy to attack you and lets them pick the pace of the fight instead you want to make sure you have control of the fight at all times and we actually just do this by having the high ground from the high ground you force your enemy to play more defensive they have to kind of come up to your speed and they can't go for anything too risky because you can easily punish them this means you will get to pick the speed of the fight and it's going to be a lot more forgiving if you miss your shots than if a guy's trying to aggro you and you have to try and pick up to the speed that he's trying to play at. Because missing your shots in those opportunities are a lot more likely than when you're picking the speed. Therefore, he's just going to keep aggressing you. And before you know it, you'll be losing an angel and you'll be dead. And finally, my last tip is to use your time wisely and fight as many people as you can. If your number one sole purpose and your only goal is to get back to your skill level again, what's going to be more beneficial? getting into 5 to 10 fights in a game every 20 to 30 minutes or getting into 50 plus fights in 20 to 30 minutes. Obviously, it's going to be the 50 plus fights. You need to make sure you're using creative as much as you can to your advantage and that is why the first thing I do is load into creative which actually leads us quite nicely into the creative part of the video. Now, the map I'm personally going to use is my own warm-up map, but you can literally use any map you want. If you want to use the map that I'm using, just type in Taven, and you'll see all my maps here, and I'm just going to load into this warm-up map. I'm currently also updating it as well, so by the time this is out, maybe it's updated with all the new weapons, but just hop into a map of your choice. So once you're in, it will look a little bit like this if you're in my map, or if you're in one of your own maps then all you want to do is go over to any sort of free build section and just sort of get a feel for building again obviously if you just mainly play no build you can fully just skip this part but you just kind of want to get a feel again for just moving around the map building or whatnot especially if you've taken like a big big break off as well sometimes it can feel a little bit weird when you're in game trying to do builds and edits it's extra especially when you haven't built or edit for a little while and i recommend you just do this for at least five press preferably towards the 10 minute mark and then this will just get you used to all those sort of basic movements that you need to make while you're in game best thing about this map actually is all these different scenarios here that i'm just really quickly gonna whiz through So I really quickly just whizzed through all these different scenarios. But the main thing you've got to actually realise when you come back to the game, especially when you take quite a big break, is that your aim is just going to be all off. 
which is why it's perfect to play a few different scenarios like 1v1 against bot or some sort of like shotgun orb type training as well these are really great just to get you to hit those shots again and just get you perfecting your aim 1v1 against bot these sort of ones are my personal favorites because this is more realistic to where you're going to actually be fighting and making these sort of moves in a game so any sort of map that has sort of a 1v1 against a bot where you have lots of room to fight and make edits and stuff is a really good map to play so i'm just going to play this for about five minutes and that should get my aim on point there we go so i finished doing a few 1v1s with the bot now and I'm going to do a little bit of 360 close range tracking just so I can sort of get my AR slash SMG aim back again. Because that is something I've been absolutely slacking on since coming back to the game. Right, so I've just finished playing that for a little bit now. And I'm going to quickly go over to one of my favorite sort of drills. And that is the free build peace control one on this map as well. This is something I'm usually going to do when I'm coming back. Just to allow me to practice that free building. That sort of, again, that realistic sort of shotgun practice. And then after this, I'll usually head into a few 1v1s. So let me quickly power through as many bots as I can. And then we'll get straight back onto the 1v1s so i was feeling fairly smooth when doing this so that means it's definitely time to get ourselves into a few 1v1 now i'm personally going to be playing some 1v1 speed realistics but pick whatever 1v1 map suits you best and you want to aim to play around 100 rounds so between probably 50 to 100. I recommend you play against 10 different opponents and play first to five against them. Or you can play first to 10 if they're decent. Just play between that 50 to 100 rounds mark. Trust me, especially in speed realistics, this will just fly by. If you're doing normal 1v1s, you can maybe make it a little bit less, like 25 rounds or so. But the more rounds you can play, the better it's gonna be. Right, so I'm in my first round now. So let's get through as many of these as quickly as we can. There we go, round one complete. 49 more to go. There we go, and just like that, we are now five rounds down. I think I'm going to play out all 14 here, and then we'll quickly find a new opponent. So I'm 15 rounds in now, and just make sure you you have a massive emphasis on trying to play for high ground. This guy is absolutely abusing the new hammers in the game, which are just so annoying to play about. Especially when trying to play against. But just make sure you're playing for high ground. Because you're going to miss a lot more shots when you've just come back to the game. So if you're not playing especially for high ground. You're going to find it so hard to try and play defensively. Because to play defensively well you must hit your shots. Because look you'll get box like I have here. And it makes the game so much harder to try and get yourself out especially if you're missing your shots there I was quite fortunate because i was able to hit most of my shots but a couple missed shots there and i would have easily lost the round so keep focusing on high ground it's got to be a lot more forgiving for missing your shots and it's got to be a lot easier when you get into your ranked games so i just finished 14 rounds with that guy we had seven rounds with the other guy which takes us up to 21 rounds in total so we're going to keep powering through we're going to play a minimum of five more rounds. We'll see what this opponent's like. Cole 1990 now. But if I'm feeling it, this potentially could be our last 1v1. There we go. We have just finished five rounds into this one as well. And overall, it's going quite well. I feel like I'm kind of closing in on that point now where I feel like I'm ready for rank. I'm hitting a lot more shots than I was before. But again, I just need to take it slow. Try and not force it too much. And just like that, we finished a another round. And I think this guy might left. Yep, he's definitely left. Six rounds into that one. With 21 rounds in tier 1. So far, we've played 27 rounds. I think I am going to play one more 1v1. Just because I want to hit a little bit closer to that 50 mark. Before I'm truly ready to hop straight back in. I'm seeing my aim and stuff start to come back slowly but surely, which is a really nice sign. So I just finished 12 rounds. And I'm not going to lie, he was definitely the best opponent I had so far. I managed to win at 8-4. So I'm going to do a first of five against this guy. So this is the skill we're looking at now. Um, 
the, the guy doesn't seem to be here. Oh, he is here. So you guys can sort of get an idea of what my skill is before I head into ranked again. I'm going to show you now. This guy is full trying, which is really nice for the last game. Because it will be great before we get into a bit of ranked. There we go. So there was the first kill. You can kind of see the aim's not looking too bad. Definitely better than the first clip you would have saw at the start of the video. And that's definitely not one of the worst ones we've had either. There were some really, really bad ones when I first came back to the game and I played my first few games. Now, I actually do really like this Nitro Splash. It is a little bit broken because it just kind of destroys for everything, but... Like that. But if you can kind of anticipate it, it's not even that bad. There we go. We've got a nice little tag there. Again, a lot of it really is just about slowing down your play. If you can slow your play down, you'll be absolutely chilling. And then it's just about playing in as many fights as you can. The mistake most people make, and I said this at the start, is people just hop straight into games when they're not ready to hop straight into games. You need to see, you've seen me here. I've fought over 50 different fights before I've even decided to go back into ranked again. And I've just died of full damage. Now, I am going to try these hammers out because everyone's been using them against me and they have been super broken. 81. Oh, my day. 75 damage as well. Those hammers are absolutely crazy. 3-3. Three, three. This fight is actually very, very close. 77. There we go. 4-3 up. One more round and we can do it. Oh, my days. I'm going to get absolutely mashed up by these hammers. Get me away. Oh, my days. They are so, so broken this season. I haven't really been able to experience them properly in too many ranked games because I haven't been able to play too many. Because I've just been absolute drone in all my ranked games. But they are absolutely crazy. Oh, my days. This guy's full trying it for the last round. This is so intense. There we go. That's a big shot. Come on. Surely. Surely we can clutch this up now. Oh, my days. There we go. That is the 5-4. God knows how many games we've played. We've played so many rounds now. We are definitely ready to get ourselves in some ranked. I was actually going to do a part of the video next where I go into some ranked and I get myself from gold rank, which is where I've been placed at the start of the season, all the way up to diamond. And I got myself to about plat 2, plat 3. But I literally kept dying mid-game and it was going to make for literally some of the worst content. And the video's already been dragged out as it is. So I didn't really want to drag it out anymore. It would have just been such a long video with the whole ranked part in it as well. But I am now going to class myself as officially unwashed. Honestly, the state of solo ranked is so, so bad at the moment. If you haven't had a chance to hop in, go and play a few games. Just make it to mid-game and you will see... Everyone is running around. I think I died about five different times to people just teaming in cars as well. Like, it was so, so uncontrollable. So, I'm going to let Epic Games deal with that one before we get straight into the ranked content again. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below as I am going to respond to all the comments. And please like and subscribe if you found the video helpful. It helps out the channel more than you can imagine. And if you like this video, you may also like this video on screen now.